Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I got a demo of i4 Siri, and here's an iPhone 4, and I'm going to be demonstrating this for the most part on the iPhone 4, but I will take a uh, few uh, demo clips of the iPad 2. So first I'm going to uh, show you that this is an iPhone 4 GSM, and you can tell because there is no antenna band, if we go ahead and focus in on that, we have no antenna band right there. And let's go around to the other side, and we can see that there is no antenna band there as well. So the other way I prove it to you is because if we go into Cydia, and then we scroll down, we will be able to see that this is in fact an iPhone 4 GSM. Let's scroll all the way down, and we will be able to see as soon as we uh, focus down there. And you can see right there that we have an iPhone 4 GSM, iOS 5.0.1. So that is in fact an iPhone 4 GSM. So we'll get into one of the simplest commands, and uh, that is saying hello. Hello. Greetings from i4 Siri. So there I you can see that we. So there you can see that we have uh, the greetings from i4 Siri, and that was hello. And uh, the other thing I would like to show is that you can uh, correct what you said. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So change it to what's up. And it will correct itself and uh, re return with another response. This might answer your question. So uh, right there, it said it actually uh, used Wolfram Alpha, which I don't know quite why it did that. Um, but basically, yes, Wolfram Alpha is working as well. Um, there are a few things that are buggy, but let's go ahead and get into all of the plugins. What is the weather like in Rhode Island? I found the following forecast for Rhode Island. Rhode Island. So there you can see that weather works. And uh, you can also do it, say, what is the current weather and your location. And we'll detect your location as well as other locations like China. What is the weather like in China? I found the following forecast for Beijing, China. So there you can see that we have Beijing, China, and we have the weather there. The next thing we can do is we can ask what time it is. What time is it? It is 10.32 p.m. And there you can see that we have the clock view loaded up. So uh, that came out actually quite nice. So let's go ahead and try the uh, uh, what time it is in China. So you can do this for any location. So actually I'll show you what time it is in Germany. What time is it in Germany? time in Berlin. Germany is 4.33 a.m. So there you go. We can see that um, it works for any location. Um, the next feature I'm going to be showing you is create note. Create note for this is a test. Here is your note. So there you can see that we have a note there and if we actually go over to the notes application we can see that it did in fact create a note. So let's scroll up and we can see that 4 this is a test. Uh, sometimes it picks up that 4, it's kind of weird. Um, but again, this is beta. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and go into some more features. Show notes. Here are your last 5 notes. So there you can see that we have the last five notes, and uh, most of these are tests from uh, trying to figure out uh, note implementation. The next one is we can create a timer. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Create timer for 20 seconds. Your timer is set for 20 seconds. So there you can see that we have a timer going, and uh, we'll just uh, talk this one out. But basically, i4 Siri will be free, and it is in beta right now for all donators who donated before February 3rd. Um, yeah, so uh, let's wait for this timer to go down. So you can see that it is in fact functioning, and uh, yeah, so you can also stop and pause the timer and all those good features. We'll also demonstrate um, Wolfram Alpha, which is the plugin that solves all the math, so let's go ahead and try it. Who is Steve Jobs? 
this might answer your question. So uh, we haven't quite implemented every part or every aspect of it, but you can see that we have this nice little uh, written part about Steve Jobs and image. So that is using the Wolfram Alpha API. So let's go ahead and try uh, one more time. What is the square root of 64? This might answer your question. So there we can see that we have these simple math uh, equations. So uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look. So there you can see that the square root, it solved it. It did all the normal stuff that normal Siri works. Now one of the best features about Siri, of course, is that it has a response for everything. So let's go ahead and give that a try. How are you? Are you a student? So uh, one of the problems that we're currently having is sometimes it outputs uh, just questions, but on the uh, stable server, this is the beta server that we're running on, and it is public to the uh, donators. So it's kind of a private beta, but it's out to over a thousand people. So uh, that's actually quite a uh, big number. So uh, we will be uh, putting this out for free. Um, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and give it a try with the iPad. So another great feature of i4 Siri is that Siri dictation does work. So I'm going to be demoing this on the iPod Touch 4 and let's go ahead and give it a try. This is a test of Siri dictation. So there we go, we have the outputted so there we go, we have the outputted uh, text, and you can see right there that this is a test of scary dictation. So it did uh, mess it up a tiny bit, but I think that uh, normal Apple servers would mess it up. So let's go ahead and give it one more test. This is a test, and I am on the iPod Touch 4G. So there we go, we have the outputted text, and you can see that this is a test. I'm on an iPod Touch 4G, so it messed it up a tiny but tiny bit, but uh, that is a demo of Siri Dictation fully working with the i4 Siri port. So here we have my iPad, this is the iPad 2 3G, and it will work on any device, but I'm just demonstrating on the iPad because it's obviously a uh, non-iPhone 4S device. So it cannot be mixed up with an iPhone 4, um, so you can see the size comparison. So let's go ahead and give it a try. How are you? I'm feeling well. Thanks. So here you can see a nice demonstration of this kind of uh, idle chat. Robots are stupid. Why? Specificially. So you can see that it's actually quite simple. It's quite fu kind of funny. Why do you suck? Because you asked me to. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's just a quick demonstration of this Siri working on the iPad 2. One last feature that I would like to mention is the API we actually made for Tell Me a Joke. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Tell me a joke. Yo mama knows so big that her neck broke from the weight. So uh, we actually have Yo Mama jokes in here, and it's actually kind of funny. Um, it also has quite um, some quite some long jokes. Um, but anyways, that was a demo of the joke plugin, and there are a variety of jokes. You'll never hear the same one again. So the way that we justify and uh, prove to people that this is using Google, so because we have uptime and we haven't had to uh, renew those 4S keys, um, so people have been using this like crazy. And uh, this is 100% legal because it uses Google for the processing of the speech packets. So guys, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this demo of i4 Siri. Go ahead and click the follow links down below if, or if you're watching this on a website. Hopefully they have uh, our Twitter name somewhere around there. And you can also check out SiriPort.com, i4Siri.com, or i4SiriServer.com. So guys, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And look forward to more on i4Siri.